Hey, what's up, Cool Like That Peeps? It is me, your Cool Like That Asian in the house. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're, <laughs> it, we're at the um, Casa de Julieta, which is the home of Juliet and of Romeo and Juliet. And um, we're in the area, I can smell smoke, so it's kind of scary. But anyways, we're in the area where um, balcony scene is. And if you see right there, this is the balcony scene that, uh, where the balcony scene happened up there and the, we're not going into the museum we're, we're just going to bypass the museum this time um, but this is where the actual house of the house of um, Juliet is and we have the souvenir shop here. and this statue over here um, I, I believe what, what it's called is like you have to touch the breast which is you have to touch the breast and um, Supposed to be it, good bring, luck. it brings good luck and love or something like that. So I haven't read it yet because we just got here and it took us a long time to get here. So uh, and this town is crazy. All right. So we're gonna go next is Lake Garda. You wanna go over there and touch the breasts on camera? Go ahead. There's nobody over there. Go touch your titties. Go touch them titties. Put your hands on them titties. But you're gonna have to take a picture. Go ahead. I can do both at the same time. Hurry up. Go. All right. I just finished touching breath, so hopefully that um, gives me some kind of luck. Or is it love? I don't know. But I already got love, so. You got love, too. <laughs> just don't know how fortunate lucky you are. But um, they don't have a house for, uh, what's his name? Dr Romeo. Romeo. They don't have a house for Romeo, but they do have a sign somewhere. And we, we totally bypassed um, Juliet's tomb, but... Right? That's that's a balcony. Balcony. Just show the area while you're okay. talking. So let's we'll take you out. Yeah, go out to the street so they can see the nasty graffiti on the wall. The graffiti's kind of uh, kind of creepy. Pretty gross. Yeah, it's really it's okay area, but all the way up there, it's really nice. It's very busy, but we're gonna try to get out of here so we can go up to Lake Garda, where Stacy told us to go. So we're gonna go check out that city. Was crazy, Verona. No wonder they went crazy. Ju Romeo and Juliet went crazy in the city. We almost went crazy in that city. We went crazy. Uh-huh. It's about to feed some poison to Andre for her. You didn't have to feed me poison. I was going to take my own. <laughs> All that driving around in circles. Oh, my goodness. The street signs are on the buildings. You can't even see the street signs, all right? We thought we were bad. You can't see the street signs on these buildings. Yeah, people cutting you off, bicycles, people walking on the street. Yeah, and this little old lady, she was so sweet, we went down the wrong road. It was a one-way. We went down a one-way. We was going one way. We were going down one way, the wrong way. It was and the right way, that was the way we walked down. <laughs> and then uh, this little old lady was like, uh-uh. Uh, Her mom uh, was so nice. Mm. Yeah, it was I thought she was going to beat our ass where I came. Yeah. No, no. Now, what is up with people and their staring problems here? If you don't look at them, you'll never know they stare. Oh, I notice. They're just up, uh, all up in your grill, and their head is almost poked into your car, just for, uh, trying to figure out um, what you're doing. We but stand out. Do we stand out? We're on our way to Lake Garda. Hopefully we don't get lost. Grapes. Grapes. Right there. He's on to his grapes. So many of them. 
He wants to do his I Love Lucy scene. Stop the grapes. <laughs> so we're on our way to Lake Garda. Hopefully we don't get lost. And we're thinking next week, if we don't get lost either, um, we're going to go to Switzerland um, up to Zurich. So Dago Cleo, if you're interested in meeting us up in uh, Zurich. It's four hour drive. Oh, it's going to be five hours to cut through Austria. Yeah, we're going to cut through Austria. We decided it would be better going up this way instead of going through all the toll roads that's located in Rome. Uh, so we decided to do that. So, yeah, if we... Oh, they are just hauling ass over here. Excuse me, JDD. So, yeah, we're thinking of going to Switzerland. We were thinking of going to Germany, but that's two hours away from Switzerland, so. That's two hours out of the way. Out of the way. Well, an hour out of the way and an hour back to get back. Yeah. All right, so we'll catch you in a bit. We'll show a video of Lake Garda. All right, bye. We're overlooking the town of Lake Garda here, I think. I believe this is Lake Garda. Right here. Well, yeah. So we wanted to kind of show you what Stacy looked at at one point. Uh, I don't know if we're in the city of Limon yet, but we're very close. So let's go ahead and look at where that guy is. Really nice view. So pretty. Look at that. They have sailboats out there. This is beautiful. It is beautiful. This one spot, you can see a lot of like scenery. Even back here has. They have a couple of lookout points down there. Yeah, actually, it looks rock. really nice out here. We walk down this hill. Down that hill. A little hiking. Down there. It's a hiking trail. At least this drive was wasn't as bad as the drive in Verona. Okay. So far. So far. Don't jinx it. We're not jinxing it. We're not. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> I don't like bugs. <laughs> that thing was huge too. It was like a baby bird. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh. Here, take this damn thing. <laughs> he caught I did you catch that on camera? <laughs> wow, that was like a bee or something. But <laughs> it was a big old green beetle. Look at it. Ooh. Come on, it's time to go. <laughs> time to go. Oh, you do this side. Let's show you guys this side. <laughs> it's all fun and games since it might fall off a cliff. Oh, look. oh watch out, Andre. I see it. It's down there. Oh, no. Here, here, let me it's this too high for me. This is the cliff. Yeah. There's the road we're going down. I think that's the city that. It's going to be fun driving around this thing because we're driving around the whole lake. Yeah. If you look at the actual picture of the lake, it looks like a big old ding ding. Really? We couldn't come up with something other than ding ding? Ding ding. Here. It's an Asian thing. Anyways, we're going to check it out and bring you more footage. Okay, bye. Let's do some hormone therapy. Whatever. So, we went w around Lake Garda, right? Okay, you saw Lake Garda from where we were. But there was no place to really stop. We took a drive around the lake. Alright, no place to really stop. And Andre's like Johnny over there. So, we couldn't really take a lot of video or even pictures or anything like that. 
because everybody was on our... Come on, Remember asshole. Now? Oh, excuse me. Let's call, let's call someone an asshole. <laughs> they're, they're always in a rush here. I, I don't know what what they're in a rush for. If anybody can tell me what they're they're going for or chasing for or whatever. Nothing. They don't have anywhere to go. They're really in a rush. I don't get it. They're just going because they can. But This guy's trying to pass us on a moped. Come on. What was that? Was that the moped? I have no idea. No, it was a moped. But the motorcyclist decided... Uh, motorcyclists here like to pass on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. They don't care where they pass. But, yeah. We, they, there was a lot of motorcyclists on, on the drive around Lake Garda. How was that with Lake Andre? It was really beautiful. It was really, it? really beautiful. So thanks for the um, referral. What, is it a referral? Thank you. <laughs> to, uh, thanks, Stacy, for the referral to Lake Garda. Uh, we were thinking we're not, we weren't going to be able to make it, but we, we, it was just a what, a three-hour drive. I didn't know. It was only, oh yeah, it's one thirty. Yeah, it wasn't that long. Well, we got caught up in uh, Verona. Yeah, Verona really caught us up, like majorly. So that city, I don't know. I wouldn't love. I wouldn't want to live in the city <laughs> here in Italy. It's too, it's too much. Pamela. Pamela. Yeah, we had to ask for directions, and the guy couldn't even understand. We couldn't even understand. The guy was like, "Okay, okay. How do you get to Casa di Gilietta? That was kind of cool, though, but it was just so out of the way, you know. If you want to get stuck in the traffic in Verona. But anyways, we are done with our venture this um, today. Going back to the hotel. I think I'm going to take a nap when we get back to the hotel. That's and oh, there's McDonald's. Let's get a sandwich or something. We're going to McDonald's. Ein Cola Pizza. Oh, that's German. We're going to McDonald's so Ein we can Rosa get... Cola Pizza. So we can a get... That means I speak more than one language. <laughs> <laughs> he is goofy today, people. Ooh. Did you see that? No. That fucker came over here and almost pushed us on just to pass the money on his side. These people are crazy. Look at that. Let's do some mixed snack. If we can find it. Yeah, I saw the sign. It's like gone now. I don't know. The, the, the roads here are weird. I and the driving is weird. And I've tried to understand, but I don't think I can try to understand it anymore. That's what's wrong. You're trying to understand it. <laughs> Anyways, we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Two or two. We'll see you next week where we go to where Switzerland. We don't know where we're going yet. Yeah, we don't know if we're gonna go to Switzerland or not. We'll see. It's looking like we are though. Yeah. Before I so leave. we'll just say Switzerland. Yeah. Before I leave to go to, go back home. Uh, Austria and Switzerland. We might go Switzerland. visit Austria and Switzerland. All right. Bye.